Men of Liverpool, your city needs you, and more specifically, your sperm. There's a shortage here on Merseyside, and we've even had to resort to buying it from down the M62 in Manchester to make sure couples in Merseyside can have children. I spoke to Professor Charles Kingsland of the Hewitt Fertility Centre here at Liverpool Women's Hospital about the problem and what men in Liverpool can do to help out. Yes, we've had a, we've had a sperm uh, shortage in Liverpool for a number of years. Indeed, not only Liverpool, nationally, since the legislation changed and there was a, there was a, a change in the law surrounding sperm donation a number of years ago. Um, and nowadays, the um, sperm donors only get um, uh, reasonable expenses for their donation. But also, if the couple who conceive using sperm donation tell the child, that child has a right to know the genetic offspring. So it may be in a number of years' time that that child may wish to find or make contact with the, um, with the donor. To, to, to donate your sperm, you need a particular um, uh, set of... of strengths really because it's one thing just offering yourself as a sperm donor but it's another thinking about the implications and really we're looking for donors who have the maturity to understand the implications of donating what that implication will be for not only for the recipient of of their sperm but also for the donor himself it, it is a, a challenge when we have to go to our colleagues across the um, M62 um, to provide um, um, sperm for our um, our own local population. So, you know, Scousers, come on, let's um, <laughs> make the effort. Linda Thompson from Aintree is mum to two-year-old twins, Ethan and Eva. Her and partner Jackie Woodcock were able to have children because of sperm donated to the Hewitt Centre. Me and my partner, um, obviously both being female, we had to we had to go somewhere initially, um, so we chose to come to come here for help, um, and then obviously we needed that third person. We obviously were looking at to use a donor, um, so obviously if it wasn't for the donor, these wouldn't be. These wouldn't be here today. Yeah. Well, obviously, we always wanted kids, um, and they've just transformed our life completely. It's just, it's gone upside down, really, but for the better. Um, but it, as I said, if it wasn't for them, if it wasn't for the donors, we wouldn't have been able to do what we've done, and we, we wouldn't have them here today. So I just, if if we were doing, if we were doing this now instead of two years ago, and there was a shortage, I'd be just devastated because we may not have ever been able to been able to have them, especially if there's like a waiting list for the sperm as well. Okay, yeah.